of you guys loving on each other. What the heck? Hey, what's up? I'm Katie Bing and welcome to or welcome back to my channel. Today's video is something I'm super excited about. If you're new here, thank you so much for checking us out. And if you're not, thank you so much for being a part of our family. I literally love the big bunch so freaking much. Okay, so today, helping me with this video, I have little Miss Indy, our newest addition to the Katie's Canines pack. And then I also have Jazzy, my girl. Okay, so for today, we are going to be going over easy things to teach puppies. So for today, we are going to be covering the most important things to teach your new puppy. Just to preface, I'm a dog trainer and all my dog training is based around dog psychology. So I use all sorts of things when it comes to training dogs. I don't have an ego when it comes to dog training. So I do use an e-collar, but I do also do positive reinforcement training. I have customized systems to every individual dog. So there's not one type of training that I'm against or for, I pretty much do it all. My biggest thing is to be teaching the dogs to be calm and confident. So as far as teaching the dogs, I always start with establishing the behavior and having them perform the behavior I want associated with the command. Then once they start to understand the behavior, that's when I'll start to add in the command. So for the first week of a dog learning something new, I actually say the command after they do the behavior. And then once they start to do the behavior on a consistent basis, then we flip flop it and the command is followed by the behavior. So you'll definitely see this in my training and I just wanted to give an explanation as of why I do that because you see a lot of people that will just sit there and be like sit 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 and the dog doesn't listen and you don't give the dog time to think so I only say it once let the dog think it through and then obviously say it again so as far as our first command we're going to be working on place place is the first thing I think you should teach a puppy because it's pretty much the end-all be-all of dog training okay so what we're going to teach Indy today is place on her dog bed so every single time we're going to walk her over to her dog bed as soon as she goes on her dog bed and waits there we're going to say place so what this is going to do is in the future say she struggles with like counter surfing or jumping on people when they come in we can already have that command in our little back pocket so if she has any behaviors that are displayed with a lot of excitement she already knows the expectation of place means to stay on her dog bed then the next command we're going to teach her is sit sit is super important because sit obviously is the basis of lay down it's the basis of a heel by your side so we're going to teach her sit just to start to teach her to put her butt on the ground then the next command that we're going to teach her is lay down lay down is really really important because that's what i teach all my dogs to do a down stay in it's really important to just have them laying down because that's the most resting position for a dog okay and then as far as our last trick or command we're going to teach them we're going to teach her break today so we're going to teach her place but we're also going to teach her break at the same time i like to teach them break because if you start with break and then break means come to me you don't have to stay anymore if we start by teaching her break and then we just make the duration of how long she has to wait till she breaks longer every time we can effortlessly teach her stay without having to worry about her breaking her stay and then we're in control of her staying there Good, stay, good, stay. So anytime a puppy really like pops their hip out like that, like they're willing to lay down for a while, what I'll do is I'll just tell them stay and reward them if they stay there. Because what this does is it's just, you're already practicing down. You might as well take advantage of the fact that they're willing to stay and they're staying on their own and start to act and condition their mind for the stay command. Oh, hey, you found everything. Come here. treat so what I'm doing is I'm taking the treat and I'm just lowering it up very very slowly because what will happen is she'll follow it her butt will hit the ground I'll give her the treat right away and say the command and this will start to teach her the association of sit sit Down. 
As far as lay down, what I'm doing is I'm taking the treat and dragging it very slowly down in front of her nose until she lays down. A problem a lot of people have when teaching their dogs to lay down is they'll take the treat from their nose to the ground very quickly and then the dog's butt comes up. So what you want to do is go very slowly so the dog's not focused on going forward, their butt's staying down while their front end is coming down as well and then you can teach them down very very easily. Stay. Good down. Good down. Good down. this goes I'm using the treats when we're doing good. the sit and the down because if we're luring her good. and she's young nice. so it's a fun game for her but we want to wean off of those and I'll start to add in pressure and release as she learns but definitely not in her first couple of saying break as she comes off to start to create that association with the command in her mind. more than you know. I am so pumped about posting regularly and the growth and the amount of comments and how much I love talking to you guys goes unmatched. I literally love having conversations. I respond to every single comment in the comment section. So let me know what you miss on my channel, what you'd like to see in the future on my channel. I love you guys. I hope you know how much you mean to me. You are what I'm super passionate about. I love sitting on and talking to you guys. So I can't wait for you to see this. Let me know what trick you taught your puppy easily, what was something in this video that you didn't know that now you do know, or what your twist on training your puppy at the beginning things was. Awesome, thank you guys so much and I will see you next video. Bye!